Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Madan Alvi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn how we can evaluate triple hydrating ankles. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.5, question number 12 from Thomas Kalpus, 12th edition book. The statement of problem is triple integral is given to us for the limits minus 1 to 1 for the variable z, limit from 0 to 1 for variable x, limit from 0 to 2 for variable y. And we have to integrate x plus y plus z. Before starting the process of integration, we must know some terminologies and basic things about triple integrals. In triple integrals, the variable which is written in the most inner side is called inner variable. After this, the variable which is present in the middle is called central variable. And the most outer variable is called outer variable. We will always start integration with respect to inner variable and then on the outcomes of integration of inner variable, we will perform integration with this with respect to central variable. And after completing the process of integration with respect to central variable, we will perform integration with respect to outer variable. So in this question, we will start the process of integration with respect to y first, then with respect to x, and after that with respect to z. Please note that uh, the limits of Inner and center variable may be constant, may be variable, but limits of outer variable are always constants. So after this, we are able to start the process of integration. Before starting the process of integration, let's revise an example from single variable calculus or calculus one. If we have to integrate three x plus five with respect to variable x, then the integration is three x square over two plus five x plus c. What it means in this integral we have two terms and each term we have two different type of constant first constant is 3 and other constant is 5 the constant 3 is being multiplied with a variable term whereas the constant 5 is being added with a variable term so we are dealing both constant differently if constant term is being multiplied with a variable it remains as it is and you will apply rule of integration on the variable term but if the constant term is being added or subtracted in the function, you will write the integration as 5x. You will associate the variable with respect to which you are performing the integration. So, in this process of multivariable calculus, either you are performing integration or you are performing derivation. In both cases, when you are dealing with respect to one variable, other variables will behave like constant. So in this function, x and z will behave like just number 5 and y is our variable. So the integration of x is xy with respect to y. Integration of y is y square over 2 with respect to y. And integration of z is yz with respect to y for the limit 0 to 2. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we will replace y with 2 in each term. And for lower limit, we will replace y with 0 in each term. So after multiplication and simplification, the terms in the second bracket, x multiplied by 0, 0 square over 2 plus 0 multiplied by z become 0. And we are left with only first bracket. So after simplification, we have 2x plus 2 plus 2z. So up till here, we have completed the process of integration with respect to y. Now, in the next step, we will perform integration with respect to x on this particular function. Please note that with respect to x, 2 and 2z are constant terms. So after simplification, we can perform the integration. In this step, I have taken 2 outside because 2 was common in each term. So the integration of x is x squared by 2. Integration of 1 is x and integration of z is xz. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus upper limit minus lower limit as x is in volume in each term. So after applying the lower limit, we have 0, just like in previous steps. So we are left with 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. Making the simplification, we have 3 by 2 plus c for the limits minus 1 to 1. And then we will perform the integration with respect to z here. Integration of 3 by 2 is 3 by 2z and integration of z is z squared by 2 for the limits minus 1 to 1. 
In the next step, we will apply the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we will replace Z with one, and for lower limit, we will replace Z with minus one. Making the simplification, we have two into two plus one, two into three, answer is six. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe this content. Allah Hafiz.